Welcome back, Towners. Today we're making some fried Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese. Let's get it. All right, guys, to start off this recipe, here we have a bag of Brussels sprouts. Um, these Brussels sprouts are already cleaned up and cut in half. Um, if you have whole Brussels sprouts, those will, def those will work also. Um, but we went ahead and heated up our oil, some peanut oil to 375 degrees. And then we just dropped our Brussels sprouts into the oil. Uh, don't walk away from them because these cook very quickly. Um, these were done in about two, two and a half, three minutes, uh, very fast. Um, as you can see, once we pop the lid, they're nice, brown, crispy. Uh, we went ahead and took them out of the oil and let them uh, drain as much oil as possible. Once the uh, oil is drained out of it, we went ahead and put it into a large bowl and hit it immediately with some kosher salt, some black pepper, as well as some Parmesan cheese. Then we just went ahead and tossed them uh, to get the seasonings to coat all around the uh, Brussels sprouts. And that's it guys, you're, you're done, you're good to go. Um, went ahead and plated them up in a large bowl just to see everything all together. And as you can see, they look crispy and burnt, but they're not. The uh, Brussels sprouts, have a, the leaves have a lot of layers on them, like cabbage leaves or like um, lettuce. And you know you peel each one back, and it just gets uh, deeper and deeper into it. So the crispiness only lasts for the outer outer layers. Um, but the outer layers that are crispy, that they may that, that you can pull off, are the ones that may have fell off in the fryer while cooking. Keep those because those kind of remind me of uh, kale chips. If you've uh, ever had kale chips, you basically take some kale leaves and uh, hit them with a little bit of uh, oil and salt and pepper, and put them in the oven, and they'll come out very crispy. Um, here you can see basically opening one up, pulling it back, and you can see the inside of it is nice and creamy and soft. Um, but these came out very nice. Um, this is a lot, a lot. I know we fried a lot of stuff these last couple of days, pretty much ever since Christmas. We did the uh, fried turkey, fried ham, uh, fried chicken, chicken tenders, and then these uh, Brussels sprouts. Um, we also did some chicken wings that I didn't post. We had a little, <laughs> we had a little bit of a mishap with the chicken wings. Um, I didn't do a full video cause after the mishap, I just kind of just stopped recording. But if you guys want to see that video up until that point, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'll probably do just post that just to do it. Uh, if you guys want to see it or not, but, um, here you can see the inside of the, uh, of the Brussels sprouts, nice and creamy. It kind of reminds me of like a thick cut french fry how the outside is very thick and crispy but the inside is nice and creamy um yeah we did that with with these brussels sprouts basically as we pretty much filmed these as soon as the chicken tenders video was done after we finished frying the chicken tenders the oil was still hot so we just went ahead and dropped and dropped these brussels sprouts in there real quick to to use those up and this is a very nice and quick recipe just hit it very quickly with some salt pepper and um parmesan cheese and that was it i think these also i, I you know what i probably should add some how that would have been good if i'd added some jalapenos it is also uh salt pepper i mean brussels sprouts with some fried jalapenos mixed in rings in mix it with two very quick fry about two or three minutes these can also be cooked in the oven if you like just same process just roast them in the oven and it'll take a little bit longer but um let me know if you guys like this recipe uh leave me a message or notification if you have any questions in the comment section below and as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.